For almost half a century, the famous Pitchy Ritchie Heritage Railway has been entertaining families in the Flinders Ranges. Soon the society, which renewed the famous Outback Journey, will celebrate a unique milestone. The Pitchy Ritchies provided a day out for thousands of families across Australia for generations. But the story of this famous Heritage Railway goes back a long way. On July 22, 1973, almost 50 years ago, a group of railway enthusiasts met here in Port Augusta to establish the Pitchy Ritchie Railway Preservation Society. The initial brief was to preserve dry stone walls and heritage bridges, but over time, from little things, big things grow. These old protest signs are sacred to the early volunteers who faced down a government prepared to let this famous railway line fall into disrepair. And as you can see, they won, with the Afghan Express mesmerising all who jump on board. But to run a steam-breathing beast like this, you need an army of volunteers, like Jack Hart and his dad Hayden. So I'm a third generation um, volunteer, uh, my grandfather, my father who's driving today. The society will need all the hearts it can get as it plans for the next half century. Its early brief was to save the track, then a year later came the rolling stock, like the engine Hayden's driving today. Still hauling railway enthusiasts from as far away as New South Wales. Oh, it's great. I hope I never lose. We're in the carriage that brought the US General Douglas MacArthur to Australia, a great platform from which to make his rallying I shall return speech during the darkest days of World War II. It was refurbished in the corn sheds by blokes like Wayne Hoskin, who's been working on yet another faded gem. Leaving your mark is part of the tradition, one the diggers took to with gusto on the GAN as they made their way to the war in the Pacific. It's a story Wayne knows from his work on the famous Car 5, with its secret panel of inscriptions. And that was another uh, classic find. We didn't know it was there till we stripped the carriage out. Preserving our railway past, it's now a 50-year tradition, and it's meant we've kept wonders like this beauty, the motor inspection car, and this little gem, the coffee pot, one of the true jewels in the Pitchy Ritchie crown. The coffee pot was a steam motor coach and it uh, ended up at Corn as a result of the Hawker people lobbying the uh, state parliament for a better railway service to Adelaide. It's enough to captivate any kid, as volunteer Ben Grafey was when he signed up as a 13-year-old. I'm a Thomas the Tank Engine fan gone wrong. I started with the really little train sets and now I have a great big train set to play with. So too all the other Preservation Society members who will celebrate their 50th anniversary in Corn on July 22nd and 23rd. Ron Candelars, 7 News.